Hey guys, it's Jailbreakist. For today's video, I have a short little tutorial on how to restore your iPod Touch slash iPhone in iTunes. What restoring will do is, if you messed up on jailbreaking or anything like that, and your iPod is kind of messed up, restoring will, like, get rid of all that, and it'll turn it basically back into brand new iPod or iPhone. And what will happen is your iPod will have everything erased, and it'll be basically brand new. Okay. So, if you guys want it jailbroken after you restore it, you're going to need to go to Felix Burns. And you're going to need to go into the iPod Touch slash iPhone section. Which is right here. And you're going to need to download the firmware that you'd like to restore with. Basically the firmware you're running right now. Since I'm 2.2.1, you're going to need to download whatever firmware you have, but I'm going to download the 2.2.1 restore. Um, why you need to download the restore is because iTunes has this new little thing called restore and update. And you guys know that the new 3.1 firmware does not allow you to jailbreak it currently. But the chronic dev team is working on it. So once you've downloaded the firmware, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your iPod into your computer. And... Once you plug it in, you're going to open up iTunes. Sorry about this, guys. Once iTunes has detected your iPod, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go under your iPod and with your firmware downloaded for all you who want to jailbreak it again. And if you guys don't want to jailbreak it, just click restore and it'll update you to 3.1 firmware. But for all you who want to jailbreak it in, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the restore button and you're going to hold the shift button and you're going to left click and this will bring up a bunch of files you're going to find whatever software you're running I'm running the 2.2.1 software so you're going to double click on it and it's going to start to restore your iPod or iPhone I'm going to come back to you guys when it's done restoring hey guys I'm back mine has, is finished restoring now and it should have automatically closed the box and it should say set up his new iPod or a store from backup you should click set up as a new iPod and you're going to click continue okay and you're going to type in a name for your iPod okay and check whatever you want there and you're going to click done and there it is your iPod is now being restored if you guys want to jailbreak it again like for 3.0 you're going to use red snow for 2.2.1 you're going to use quick freedom I have tutorials on how to do both of those so thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate subscribe